Welcome to Mentoring Myself. It is a transformational podcast. I am Natalie J. White. I'm a transformational life coach. And I like to ask experts my favorite question, which is what advice you would give to your younger self. And today we are joined by a most amazing, fabulous specialist at being a mermaid. Um, Candace Storm uh, runs a mermaid school. She also does uh, coaching, mermaid life coaching, and also aerial yoga. So you are all about swimming and flying and being your fantasy self, I guess. Please introduce <laughs> yourself, Candace, and tell us a little bit more mm -hmm. about what you do. Hey, everybody. Um, maybe I should say shello. <laughs> Um, I discovered yoga in my early 20s, um, the traditional Hatha yoga, and from there it has blossomed into aerial yoga, into mermaiding, into all things aerial actually. But what I discovered is the more time I spend in the air and in the water, um, the closer I get to myself. Um, it's an amazing form of mindfulness because you're unaffected by um, all the hassles going on in your life. It's sort of like a little holiday, taking a holiday from your everyday life and just being mindful and living in the moment, which is so, so powerful. Um, so yes, I know it sounds strange, but whether you're swimming in the water or flying through the air, um, it's more or less the same thing. It's actually, it's almost like a meditation and it's, just time to spend on yourself, time being mindful of every moment, being alive in every every single moment, and, and kind of a little break from the hamster wheel that we all find ourselves on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, for most people, that's absolutely fascinating, the idea that you can actually turn your love for sort of swimming and water and mermaids and fantasy and stuff into something. Can you tell us just a little bit more, like practically, what do you actually coach people with? What do you actually do? Because I know there's the mermaid school and I don't think a lot of people will know what that even means, what that is. I'd love to know, like practically, what do you actually do? It's, I know I've been to some of your aerial yoga. That's a little bit easier to understand, but... Love mm. to know a bit more about the mermaiding. <laughs> um, okay, so the mermaiding is um, something that's getting more and more popular uh, worldwide. Mm. And something that I've been doing for three or four years, and I'm just finding the more I do it, the more I want to do it. Um, so basically, with the um, with my life coaching business, I focus on empowering women, um, and I don't. I'm not a sit on the couch kind of life coach, although we do do that sometimes. But what I like to do is offer transformational retreats where we take yoga, aerial yoga, mermaid tales, and we go down to the beach or we go into the mountains and we spend time exploring areas of ourselves that we neglect, you know, a little bit of fantasy, doing things that make us feel beautiful. Uh, doing things that encourage us to be a sisterhood, um, things that encourage us to fix one another's crowns. I brought my little crown. There mm. you go. <laughs> so I think what's really important as women is to, to build a community of other strong women and to, to build one another up, to fix each, each other's crowns and to empower ourselves to actually fix our own crowns too. Mm -hmm. uh, rather on affirmation from your boss or affirmation from your husband or your lover um, I think that is what's so powerful about learning um, to pole dance is learning to make yourself feel, feel beautiful or learning to swim in a mermaid tail it feels like you're swimming in evening wear <laughs> when do we ever get to wear evening wear anymore <laughs> mm, 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 so it exactly. makes you feel beautiful it makes you flow it makes you feel Glamorous. Um, I think what I'm trying to say is that it connects you to that inner goddess, the one that mm. we've been squashing down, the one we've been mm -hmm. suppressing. Don't be too big. Don't take up too much attention. Keep yourself small. Don't mm -hmm. go after what you want. Know your place. It's breaking free of, of that mold and saying, actually, I am a queen. 
I'm a mermaid, I'm whatever I want to be. Mm-hmm. And actually having that faith to develop your, your dreams and develop yourself and develop your, your confidence um, and to grow rather than living in a box that society has built for you. Mm-hmm. I love that. Mm. I, I hear the I hear sort of the <laughs> of words that are that are often spoken to children is um, mm. you know, stop daydreaming, stop well, mm. where else will my good ideas come from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's and where I they think come from when I'm daydreaming. <laughs> the dreamers. Exactly. The world needs dreamers. And um, and it needs people to let themselves grow. Because as women, we are always told to keep ourselves small. Don't wear that dress. Don't wear those heels. Mm-hmm. Don't look too gorgeous. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, I grew up as a very shy child. And my parents were quite strict. So whenever I did try and do anything glamorous, I sort of get that look, you know, mm. what are you trying to do? Um, it's not important. Um, and it is important. And my own daughters are 18 and 20. And I encourage them, throw rose petals in your bath, mm-hmm. light a candle, play some music, um, put on a face mask, mm-hmm. look after yourselves because nobody else is going to look after you at the end of the day. Mm. You need to look after yourself. You need to pamper yourself. Why wait for some guy to, to buy you flowers? Mm. Um, we all need to invest in ourselves and to love ourselves a little bit harder. And then people will respond to that. Yes. Yes. And I yeah. love that. I love that. That totally mm. connects with with one of the things that, that like I like to focus on, which is um, it's you know, people want to call it self-love and there's a lot of people that struggle with our sort of new age terms. I want to put, call them, you know, the new age narrative, like self-love and me time and all of that. But quite mm. simply is um, you're a custodian of your body, just as you Absolutely. would be, you know, your car, it needs to go for a service. You need to give it a wash. You need to clean the junk that's out you, your house. You need to keep, you know, do the upkeep and so on. You need to mm. um, clean the floor, you know, otherwise it doesn't work properly. It doesn't function properly. Mm. So um, mm. I do agree with the self-love and all the nice cushy narratives as well. Um, but I also mm. like to make it a bit more practical for people and going, if you don't look after this magical, powerful machine that you have, it's not Mm. going to work optimally, you know, and Mm. I feel like the connecting, you're talking about that connecting to the inner goddess, the inner self, I mean, Mm -hmm. what else have we come here to do, but express what this little creature is, you know, in its full capacity, so I totally relate, and we we need to be our own unique selves, Mm. and what better way to discover who we are than lying in this beautiful womb or cocoon Mm. in a hammock, Oh, or yes. swimming under the ocean where you can't hear anything. Mm. Um, there's no one to distract you. You're completely alone with your thoughts as mm. you glide through the water. Mm. And um, the motions that we use in the yoga hammock or, or swimming in the water is a, a sort of a, a wave, like a body wave. Mm-hmm. So if you can imagine what this feels like mm-hmm. um, on your spine. And yeah, your I'm hips, just thinking of the kundalini as well. Mm. Very much. I mean, kundalini is all about bringing that energy up your spine mm-hmm. and into the chakra. And the kind of mo- motion that we use when we're swimming with a monofin in the water, our feet uh, fit in single flipper and there's no kicking so you're actually you're moving your core you're moving your body i'm in a snake-like kind of motion and um it's the most energizing and yet the most calm feeling it really does feel like you are meditating under the ocean under the Mm. water and anyone can wait till i can get a chance to do that (laughs) till opportunity comes for me to do it i know you have got something Mm. up you can tell us about it later um, I want to do uh, move on to our pertinent question of the of the mm. show, which is, what advice would you give your younger self? I think um, the advice that I would give my younger self is, fake it till you make it. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, um, coming from a background where I was a very shy um, youngster. I got to the point in my life where I decided to reinvent myself. 
Um, and how I decided to do that was actually basically just to project confidence that I didn't have. <laughs> and I found the more that I projected that self-confidence, uh, the more people would respond to me differently. Because at the end of the day, what you put out there is what you are going to attract. Mm -hmm. So if you feel um, shy or not confident, it doesn't matter. You can still go ahead and do exactly what you want to do. You can still go ahead and chase after those dreams, even if you have people telling you that um, you're not capable or that um, you're impractical, or even if you're telling yourself that um, you're not capable or that it's never going to happen. Just master a little bit of belief in yourself mm -hmm. and yourself with people who can share your vision and who can encourage you and and believe in you and then things will start to unfold mm -hmm. I think if I'd known that sooner I mean that's something I discovered maybe in, in high school and it took me another 10 years to perfect it mm -hmm. and that's fine because we are not perfect beings we are put here to to find ourselves and even more so to uh, create ourselves and who we want to be mm -hmm. because it's important that we change. Discovering ourselves is not enough. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, we then have to work with ourselves and create um, versions of ourselves that make us happier and that can give something back to our communities at the end of the day. It can't just be about us. Yes. And I think you're an absolutely perfect example of um, that I would use. Um, you know, often with the coaching, I'll be working with somebody, um, uh, you know, for example, they love drawing, but they're just like, how do I monetize this? How do I, oh, it's such mm -hmm. a fantasy. They've got like a normal day job kind of thing. They're like, mm, mm -hmm. I'll never make a job out of this. And then, you know, you're an absolutely perfect example. Well, actually, I know someone who runs a mermaid school. You know, like, <laughs> what? You know, yeah. Why? How? How? How was there? There <laughs> are people who, if one person, if ten people love mermaids, there'll be thousands of people that love mermaids. You know, and it's absolutely. And um, and I think also the the advice often we're giving is you need to find a niche. Mm -hmm. And mm. you have such a beautiful niche, you know. Um, I think mm. another thing that came up for me while you were busy explaining your advice was you said, find the people who, who are like-minded and that. And I think a lot of mm. people would say, where do I find these people? But social media, just go on Facebook, just go on Instagram, go anywhere and look up a simple term, mm. mermaids, you know, and see mm. what pictures come up. You're going to find your people. Um, and join those groups. And actually, one of the things I did as well Mm -hmm. is I tailor made my Facebook. So um, I went and I physically sent friend requests to people who I found to be inspiring. I mean, every day I get friend requests from people who I don't know. And mm -hmm. I thought, but why don't I do that? Mm. Who is me? Who, yes. who am I interested in? And I went and I found those people. Wow. And I sent them friend requests. So my Facebook news feed is very inspiring and i love to look at it because it's filled with people that i find are interesting mm -hmm. um so you know you can be proactive you know as they say you need to be mindful of what you put into your body and it's not just your food that you eat it's the people in your life the influences that you allow into your space mm -hmm. and the environments that you that you spend your time in, you need to be mindful of all of these things and make sure that they are nourishing mm. for you. Yes, yes. So I hear lots of people complain about their Facebook and how it's so negative and people, if people are posting things you don't like, unfollow them. They won't, you don't have to unfriend oh, them. Just unfollow like them and tell them make, tell them make your news feed to what you want to see. Yes, you know? yes. I love that. That's also some great advice. That's mm -hmm. also some great advice. So um, what, mm -hmm. it, let's say um, if if um, the listeners, if the viewers, if you'd like to just leave them with um, sort of a takeaway in terms of mm -hmm. your message, you know, what's your message that mm -hmm. you're sort of sending out there? I'd love to, I'd love to know that. Um, I think my message would be that you can do whatever you set your mind to. You need a plan. 
You need to know what it is that you want mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. And then you start following simple steps every day, simple, small steps to take you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. You need to know what it is that makes your heart happy. And then from there, you can every day just move a little bit closer to that. So my current dream is to go and swim in the ocean with my mermaid tail. Um, I've done it once in Mozambique with the dolphins mm -hmm. and I've done it once in Zanzibar and then they locked down all of our borders. So I've now, um, on, on its way to me is the most beautiful silicone tail from a lady in PE called Moonsong Magic. It's a custom made silicone wow. tail wow. with a professional monofin mm -hmm. and myself and Talia, who's mm -hmm. another My mermaid, friend, there are yes. a few of us out mm -hmm. there. We are going to take some women down to Umkamas at the end of August and we're going to go and swim in the ocean and there's this amazing humpback whale migration happening there so we're really hoping that we'll get up close with the whales on the boat and possibly even swim with them. So I am starting a little mermaid school so that I can teach women how to hold their breath, how to swim underwater, how to swim with the monofin. And then we are all going to go down to the south coast in the middle of winter <laughs> to go and swim with the whales in Unkamas. And it's just been a step-by-step -step journey to, to make the dream come true. And I'm hoping to take as many men and women with me as I can because at the end of the day, um, it's about building the right tribe of people around you so that you can reach those goals and you can encourage Oh, I love that so much because I also like your training. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just about the life coaching sort of um, mental or emotional parts. It's also mm -hmm. um, to do with the physical because that core mm -hmm. work and the breathing is actually, vi mm -hmm. actually vital sort of skills and abilities um, that really do improve your life, improve your well-being, you know, and your vitality. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's the yeah. most amazing fit, fit with yoga, actually, because mm -hmm. it's teaching Definitely. the same thing just one is on land and one is in the water and one is in the air if you do an aerial yoga mm -hmm. so mm. yourself to just doing it on the ground you know? yes. it just sounds like freedom it just sounds like absolute mm. joyful freedom yes ultimate freedom absolutely mm. and just really connecting with nature and and with yourself yes oh beautiful i love it i love it so um can you leave us with some details so that those interested mm -hmm. can get in touch with you and any um aspiring mermaids or mermen i don't know if there's a different name for men or women <laughs> or whatever but um maybe aquaman mm. aquaman who knows you know aquaman. <laughs> aquaman, yeah, I, want to come. I actually watched the movie recently and i really was in love with the story of atlantis and the murray mm. and the mount shasta mm -hmm. and all of that but to, to then watch this movie, which is, of course, it was a popcorn, you know, popcorn flick, but, uh, you know, Jason Momoa's mm -hmm. main role, so he's going to, mm -hmm. you know, say no to watching that, <laughs> that movie. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, hello, Jason, we're here in Benoni. Yes. Please come and find us. Yes, and uh, please, we'd like to invite you to a, 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 a swimming in the sea in Ungumas. <laughs> yes, please. I'll definitely <laughs> manifest that right now. <laughs> I'm there. So there. Oh, absolutely. Me. I'm there first, sister. I'm there first. <laughs> I love it. Um, so, so I yeah, think um, details. from the details, um, if you go onto Facebook or Instagram and you look up Mer Swim SA, so Mer as in Mermaid, mm -hmm. Mer Swim SA, um, or Bamboo Zen, you will find um, details of our upcoming retreats mm -hmm. on the South Coast, which is at the end of August. It's the 26th to the 29th of August. Mm. And you'll also find details of the Mermaid School that we are opening on the East Rand. There is a school on um, on the Mid Rand side as well. So you can ask me for their details if you if you need them. Mm -hmm. um, that's on Zell, the East right? Is she doing that one? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's Izzel. Mm -hmm. And that's also Merce School, Merce School SA. Um, and then you can have a look at our details. We have an open day coming up on the 7th of August, which is also my birthday. Ooh, so we're nice. going to have a little, yeah, we're going to have a little launch party and, um, you know, have some mermaid tails available for anyone who wants to come and try it. And let's see. Um, how you enjoy the literally the motion of the ocean. <laughs> oh, can I book my spot already? Yes. Absolutely. Sweet. Would you like a pink or blue tail? <laughs> what are the colors? Pink or blue? You can have pink or blue or gold. <laughs> I think 
think I'm going to go for the gold. It'll match my hair. Mm, <laughs> it will match your hair. hair. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'd like that. Gold evening wear for you booked. I have to buy it. Um, so Today is um, at our Merce from SA in Barony. Okay. And um, it's on the 7th of August at 11 o'clock. I'm excited. So I'm we'd love you to come and try. Yeah, mm -hmm. give us a shout if you'd like to book. And mm -hmm. um, we'll have some nice tunes playing. We might even have an aerial hoop there so you can see some of the ladies swimming through the air. Mm. That's going to be <laughs> awesome. Swimming in the water. It's going to be just an amazing day and a nice opportunity to actually feel Connect. what it is that I'm talking about I feel the freedom of it yes. and the the calmness and the meditative aspects of it yes oh man I'm so looking forward to that lucky me <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were thank you very day. much That's super exciting so Candice yeah. thank you so much for coming on this I just enjoyed it mm -hmm. so much and um, I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to that 7th of August open day and yes, anyone who wants to get in touch with Candice, who wants to explore that part of themselves, I highly recommend it. I have done aerial yoga with you, just a brief session, and mm. I absolutely loved it. Of course, I, I teach yoga as well, but mine's quite mm. different, um, but I just loved it. So thank you so much for coming on the show. And um, yeah, anybody get in touch with Candice if you're keen. That'll be lovely, guys. And you can rest assured it is a heated pool. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> And we hope to see you soon. Thank oh. you so much for having me, Natalie. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Bye. Bye now.